Welcome back to Legacy of Leaders. I'm your host, Whitney Mincy, and we have the privilege of interviewing the brightest and most interesting leaders in Jacksonville. Today is no different. I am here with Monty Walker, CEO of Habitat for Humanity in Jacksonville. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Whitney. My pleasure. I'm so excited to have you here to share about Habitat for, for Humanity. I've heard so much about it, and I know that there are probably some people that don't know all the amazing things that you guys are doing. So why don't you share with us? Well, we're a, um, a, a faith-based nonprofit uh, here in Jacksonville. This is our 35th year, wow. and we build affordable homes for families in need all across the community. Uh, we have primarily built on scattered site infill lots in the urban core, and we're expanding, continuing that work, but expanding some other areas uh, where we can find affordable land. But affordable housing crisis in Jacksonville is 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 really um, crisis is is probably the right word. Right. Yeah. And uh, so we want to do our part to support the community and um, give families that dream of home ownership. Yeah. So if you had to share kind of the, the mission behind what you guys do and why you're so uh, dedicated to affordable housing, what would that be? Well, our, our mission, uh, you know, calls for us to, um, to build affordable homes. We really believe in the concept of building generational wealth. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why our model is a home ownership model that, yeah. you know, if families can save uh, and build equity in their homes, then that opens doors for education, for better nutrition, all kinds of good things happen if they're able to build um, generational wealth. And so we really believe in that. We've seen it work mm -hmm. uh, and we know it works. And so that's kind of at the, um, the core, that's, that's our model and that's how we do it is we look for families uh, that have one, a need for affordable housing, two, the ability to pay. So we don't give away homes, which right. is a, a common misconception. Uh, the family does pay a, an affordable mortgage each month, and then their willingness to partner with us. They they actually go out and help with building their own home. We do a lot of financial literacy and other training for them to mm -hmm. get them in a position to be uh, a successful homeowner. And so what does the process look like for someone that may be watching this thinking they know someone that could benefit from your affordable housing, or maybe they themselves want to know how they could potentially qualify? What's that process? Great question. So we have every month, uh, the second Tuesday, I believe, and every month, you can go to our website, habitjacks.org, and, and get the exact schedule. But we have what we call information sessions. Mm -hmm. So you just click on a link, register for it. You can, uh, uh, we have a live Zoom or Teams call okay. uh, and that tells you everything about how the program works and you can decide, is, is this for me? Mm -hmm. uh, we have a chat room so you can ask uh, questions in real time. Okay. And uh, we normally have probably 200 people attend those, those sessions and then uh, if they want to proceed, then they'll go to the, the formal application process and, and we'll take it from there. And what's required of them? I know you mentioned you have financial literacy courses and things like that. What do these people need to do to make sure that, you know, they're doing their part? Well, we want to make sure that they have steady employment. Okay. Uh, there are some credit score guidelines and uh, also some delinquent debt guidelines that we outline in the, in the information sessions. Uh, but we serve uh, income between 30% of the area median income up to 80% of the area median income. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are income requirements. Um, and, and so all of that is outlined in the info session. And, and okay. once you get through that, we help walk you through the whole mortgage application process because this is new. These are first time home buyers. Yeah. A lot of the terminology is different. Uh, so we help them prepare the, the, the application for the mortgage. And what about everyone else? How can people like myself get involved with Habitat for Humanity? Lots of ways to do that. We, you know, a, a, a uh, foundational to the to the Habitats and Habitat model is uh, is volunteers. Okay. So we have tons of volunteer opportunities where you can come out on the weekend and swing a hammer and help yeah. us actually build a home. Um, obviously, you know, we depend on uh, private donations for financial support. So you can support us in that way. Mm -hmm. But we 
do a lot of corporate outings where it's almost a team building kind of day where you come out with a group from your uh, wherever you work mm -hmm. and, uh, and and you help uh, help build a habitat home. You get to meet the home buyers and oh, wow. and uh, they get to tell their stories. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't advise you to do it this week. It's, <laughs> it's pretty hot uh, out there, right? right? <laughs> but but uh, our volunteers are a key part of what we do, and uh, um, we, we'd love to have you engaged. Well, thank you so much for sharing about Habitat for Humanity. We're out of time, unfortunately, but if you want to learn more about what Monty and Habitat for Humanity of Jacksonville are doing, make sure you head over to iwantabuzz.com, and we will see you next time on Legacy of Leaders.